So, based on the experience of Montreal movements, probably many people uh, ask to themselves why there are so many bicycles in the street in Montreal. So I will give you the clue why it is, why it is, why how it, it, is, it, 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 it started in, in the seven, in the seventies, and what what was the recipe. So there will be three things in my uh, my speech. First, the environment. Second, the ingredient, and third, the dish, the outcome, of course. So I've got a cooking cooking jar here. Um, first, uh, environment. So uh, remember, if there's some folks that are enough old uh, in, the, in the place. Um, so uh, in the 75, so we're in May 75, there was the first uh, oil, oil uh, crisis. So uh, cold oil was at its best uh, all over the world. So there was war in Africa, in Asia, in, uh, in South America with the guerrilla. Third, um, there was the, still the hippie and counterculture movement, <laughs> probably remember. Third, now we're in Quebec, there was a constant, there was a constant union worker strikes all over Quebec in those years, linked with the nationalist movement. So, and linked with this nationalist movement at its peak, a year later, the Parti Québécois was elected in... Uh, in Quebec, first sovereignist movement to be elected in Quebec. So what's what? So that was the environment uh, in May, May, May 75. So May, May 75, uh, there was a, a first meeting between two groups of people, very different people. First group, these people here, <laughs> were a bunch of Jewish, English-speaking people people, anarchists, their background, they were anti-Vietnam War activists, <laughs> they, were, they, fought, they fought for Milton Park uh, co-op, some of them had, had, were involved in the kibbutz in Israel, others were former sugar cane cutter in the socialist Cuba, with a very no larger, no, no knowledge of what is biking. <laughs> So this is this group, the first ingredient, the group here. Second group, crazy bicycle fanatic French Canadian <laughs> with uh, mostly a sports and touring background, fierce pro-nationalist, <laughs> Quebecers involved in the Zionist movement. This is this group here. And the two had a meeting together, May. <laughs> First meeting May uh, May seventy five. So put the Jewish anarchists, leftists together, <laughs> and you put French Canadian nationalist bikers. You mix all of this. <laughs> so this was the ingredient B. Um, so most of the the English speaking people guys didn't speak so much so much French, and the same applied for the French Canadian. They weren't speaking so much English. So the first meeting was in English, and then it switched shortly after for French. <laughs> but it worked out because uh, we, it worked out because uh, we had a common, uh, transcendental common ground that linked us together, that was to fight for a better city. This is really typical from, of Montreal, this experience, I, I believe. So uh, in the months and years to come, so after this meeting and uh, years and until the, the end of the 70s, uh, we built a very efficient bicycle movement in Montreal, probably the most efficient in America, uh, putting in practice the very last ideas and strategies conceived by intellectual leaders like Ivan Illich and Saul Alinsky. Some remember. So uh, I will give uh, now the exam the, uh, uh, an overview of what, what, what was the dish. I've got a lot of uh, newspaper of the time. So if you will look at it then. This was in the 70s in Montreal. So it started with uh, events with 3,000 people. Race between car and bicycle at 
peak hour, the bicycle won all the time. <laughs> this was in 75, 76. People dress as a car to the street. Our, our car takes place on the street. The room of car takes on the street was really, really theatrical. Uh, demonstration on the bridge because we weren't allowed to take the bridge, we weren't allowed to take the metro. So uh, we also made a kind of theater, Maurice, opening the river with our leader. The leader name was Bob Silverman, probably know him. Uh, illegal attempt to get into the subway with bike, illegal painting of bike lane, uh, numerous satirical intervention at City Hall every, every month for about 20 years. Uh, so these are some illustration of the, the kind of thing we, we did in the 70s. Before Velo Quebec took all of this, and so Velo Quebec now, that I consider the son of the citizen of Cycle, they have 120 employees, and it's a citizen movement. So uh, it's, 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 this explains this, this citizen movement, why there's so many bicycle industry in Montreal and not so many in other North American cities. The same. The same kind of slogan now, contre la pollution, une solution, le vélo. That was in 75, 76. Le monde à bicyclette veut rendre Montréal plus viable. That was in 75. And this is Bob Silver, and he's still alive. I will invite him next, for next Thursday. He'll probably come. October 12th, I think it was 76, exactly one year after the Metro Fair, I, we invite you to come die with us. Père Paul et Pédal, Bike for a Better City. A vélo vert, exactly this. This is our, our slogan. A vélo vert, a vélo vert, Bike for a Better City.